Hard to get good help. I know, right? Struggle. The struggles are real. Yeah. <laughs> back to the channel. Today we are off the land. We're at my brother's and his wife's house and he's building a shed extension as you can see. So it's an add-on to an existing shed that was here and he's been building this extension for his boat and trailer and stuff. So we're just trying to get the roof done but it's been raining for the last uh, 24 hours so it's really soppy and wet. But he wants to be able to park his boat in here and have room for other stuff on his property. So we got some helpers today. There's Aiden and my brother Michael. Say hi to the camera. Hello everyone. <laughs> so let's get at it. Go! <laughs> So we're going to start by putting the fascia around this section on the outside and then we'll hoof where Michael will attach it to the roof. The plywood put up and then we'll put up the tar paper and then if we have time we'll do the shingling. How do your videos get any likes? <laughs> so what's the issue with that one? Wet wood? Wet wood, dead battery? Deading battery? Uh, you get that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes. <laughs> top is the bottom's coming in yeah be like uh yeah that's good if you could come up oh. that's true what's the plan so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a chop station for the plywood we're going to put up saw horses and build a station where we can cut the wood so that Michael can call down the numbers he needs them cut and then we'll cut them and hand them up to him. Sweet. We're gonna get this set up right now. <laughs> yeah. Wanna film? <laughs> yeah. Bah, bah. And the boys are bringing down the plywood. Yep. 
the fascia up. I'm cutting the wood. I'm not filming much, trying to get this done in the short time of window we have for the rain, uh, for the rain so I'm keep going. And this is called board and batten style of construction where you have your giant rough sawn boards and then you come back with a furring strip that goes between furring strip for a batten. <laughs> <laughs> for the a batten for the boards would go down over the joints to cover that up. It's a very traditional barn style building and it's very cool looking. Here they are now running a string line to straighten the fascia board to take it any okay. imperfections there. And then we'll be doing the plywood on that side of the roof. This is what it's like when you have a lot of chefs in the kitchen. And... <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> so, the time with your veg? <clears throat> so when the rain goes on something, you want it to drip off and away from the wood so it doesn't get le uh, leeches in and down inside your wood to rot it. So we want to make sure that we have some of this rough sawn on the edge of the gable and the drip edge on the front so that we have a, an aluminum flashing that will push the water out. Then your tar paper and shingle sit on top of that. But you need to account for that now before you do the tar paper and stuff on the top. <laughs> it's not a flattering shot at all. We're eating in 29 minutes. What are we eating? Lasagna dinner in nice. four o'clock. Nice. It's perfect. <laughs> cool. Well, we're gonna get this sorted. How much material we need, and then uh, we'll be we're good to go. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're still off the land. And I'm still at my brother's house, so we're going to continue with this section. And then we'll hopefully try to get... Let me fix this camera. We're going to get it uh, tar papered and shingled as well. That is the goal today. It is the Thanksgiving weekend, so happy Thanksgiving to all Canadians on this weekend. Hope you get to spend some time with your family. and they don't put you to too much work. So let's just go up and we'll see what we're dealing with. We just got the drip edge done. So this is the existing roof. They've extended the back section and put a new roof. On there. So that's what we're doing. Ready to go, let's get set up. So then we're just waiting for Scott and Michael to come out and help. Kind of interesting because we're also getting turkey dinner ready, so that's happening. In the video that I posted earlier about putting up the uh, internet line, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun working with uh, my brothers. So. I don't expect today to be any different. So just before we get everything ready, I just wanted to show you a bit of the property. They have a fenced in area this around here for their dog. They have a nice fire pit. It's a nice little area. Hey Ed, from My Cluttered Garage. My brother has a shelter as well. It's a bit more hidden in the back than yours is. Let's see what's inside. And inside we have a Craftsman riding lawnmower with a four-wheeled poly dump 
cart. So that's interesting. The Kohler Pro engine. I don't know what kind it is. So that's kind of nice. The property goes back a ways. Back in there. The fence line continues around and around. And just in this back area is where we installed that uh, pole for the internet. And then up there is the shed extension in the house and Aiden's getting ready. Well, let's get at it. All right, so we just threw up a couple of sheets of plywood. Just kind of getting them sorted up there. This will just make things a little easier when it comes time to install them. They are full sheets, so they won't require any cutting. And when you get into the meat of the project, you know, everything will fall into place correctly. So that's kind of why we did that. All right, catch you soon. Be safe, kids. <laughs> it's very important to have tightly tied shoes on a roof so your shoes don't fall off. <laughs> While wow, you're roofing. Um, I don't want to point out the obvious. <laughs> it's a little long. Look at the size of that thing. Hard to get good help. I know, right? Struggle. The struggles are real. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, they're just starting, you know? <laughs> Place a, uh, a thought in the comments below on what's wrong with this picture. Yeah. Did they follow the training? No. <laughs> <clears throat> Update. Got most of the roof covered. Going up this section. Plywood's done. We're going to start putting down the tar paper. I will trade you an orange for a purple. Oh, where's the orange ones? In my hand. <laughs> oh, I must have the green. Starting shingles. This turkey tastes half as good as it looks. I think we're all in for a very big treat. Oh, and we're still filming. <laughs> it's black. Pitch black. We had turkey dinner. And the boss is really riding us to get this done, so it's probably really dark. Can't see very well. Oh, almost lost his 
Lost a nail. I'll edit that out. Does anyone know what time it is? So it's 10 o'clock at night and we're still working on the roof. We took some time off to have uh, Thanksgiving dinner and we're just going to finish off a few more before we call it a quits for the evening. Try to get it back at it first thing in the morning, but then we're heading back home in the afternoon. So thanks very much for watching. We'll check in later. Coming on the shed extension roof build with my brothers. Oh, let me just change this. Good morning. <laughs> Good. Good morning. Welcome back to the land. What are you doing today? No. Cut that out. That's not what it is at all. Take two? No, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we've put up the scaffolding so that we can stand on that to do the first row of tar paper and shingles. And that's what they're going to be doing today or this morning. It's going to be a short day because we do have to drive back home. But we're going to get as much as we can done before we have to leave. Performance anxiety. So how do we do? Amazing. How do we do? Awesome. So we got over half of this side done. Scott will just have to peel this back and can complete this side and then the roof job is done. Roofing, not what we like to do. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. What did you do on your land today? Have a great day. Bye everybody.